All right, so I'm sitting here with Pam Alley and her Airedale puppy, Penny. And uh, thank you so much, Pam, for training with the South Carolina Canine Academy. I really appreciate it. No and I was uh, just wanted you, if you could do me a favor, uh, just describe a specific experience that you were happy with with us. Okay. Well, actually, it was today. Um, we just learned live. Course. Just today, right? Yeah, just today. <laughs> <laughs> Which is our, our last of our puppy training days. So um, we've come a long way. Um, so one of the, the best things was watching her kind of jump right into stay. And I, I kind of had thought she was not going to be able to get it right away. But she was able to stay as, as we moved around and made distractions in the kitchen. So there's hope for being able to make a sandwich and not have to worry about her running all over the place uh, pretty soon. So that was awesome. And then also the, the first time that I called you, um, I was having a lot of problems with housebreaking her and having you walk through the house and say, you don't need puppy pads all over your house. You're giving her free reign to uh, <laughs> go anywhere in the house was really good just to have somebody else come in and go, I know you think you know what you're doing, but you don't. So Oh, but I was, was nicer like, about it than that. Right? <laughs> you totally were. You totally were. But um, it was it was you know, very, very helpful and it made a big difference and gave me a lot of peace of mind right off the start, right from the start. Awesome. So. Could you just describe in detail uh, one or two benefits that you got from training with the South Carolina Canine Academy? Well, um, I know how to handle her better. Uh, I know how to, yeah, so this is not normal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is for the people watching this yes, video. Yes, exactly. This happens every time. Um, <laughs> so I know how to handle her better. I know how to um, walk with her better on a leash uh, and on a lead and what kind of harness to get and things like that, which I wouldn't have known, you know, I would have just gone by gut instinct. So that was good just to know what to do from my point of view. Um, and at the same time, she's been really good at uh, learning how to sit. She's now learning how to stay today. She's being really cute um, all the time. <laughs> Uh, but she's she's really listening, and I'm learning how to recall her and overcome distractions. So those are all goals of mine to get her to be a well-behaved dog. Excellent, excellent. So uh, what would you say to somebody who maybe is on the fence about getting training? I would definitely, definitely do it. Um, you know, at least have that first time. Have some homework. Actually do your homework. Take the time to do it. Um, do it before you feed them, so that way they're really excited and eager to do it. Um, and, uh, and you'll definitely see the benefits. Excellent. Thank you so much, Pam. You're welcome.